Today we are starting about the osteotics. These are the those animals which have bone as a part of their endoskeleton. So also called bony fishes. The systemic position of these animals of fishes are vertebrates, canthostoma, pisces, osteotics. These are the most animal of these osteotics are aquatic in nature. The animal have spindle shaped body for easy swimming and less resistance towards the flow of water current. This animal have pair, pectoral and pelvic fin. As the name suggests, the endoskeleton of these osteotics are made by bones. The xylom are entero type. The body of these animals are covered by mainly covered by cellular skin. The teeth of these animals have homodont, acrodont, or polypyodont type. These animals have four pillow filiform gills. The heart of these animals have two chambers, one auricle, one eye ventricle, respectively. The ear of these uh, osteotics are internal only. The animal having the branchial respiration. Oviparous, because they have the because they lack like so also called oviparous animals. The sexes are separate in these animals. The fertilization uh, are external in osteo osteotics. The animal have cold blooded animals. These animals are cold blooded animals. This animal show the property of amniotic, so also called amniotic animals. They having ten pair of canine love and having tail fin. Special character. These are the those characters which made them special uh, special from other animals are as follows. The first have they have endoskeleton made up of bone. The second one they have exoskeleton made up of canoid, tenoid or cycloid scales. They show amnotalism. The gill have the operculum of or cover, gill cover. They have two chambered heart and having the most important character of these having a swim bladder which help to maintain them to to maintain their specific gravity in water. Classification of osteotics. They are divided into two main subclasses are actinopatari and sarcopatari. Tagi. Actinopatari are the ray pin fishes. They have a bladder as hydrostatic organ. They are further divided into classes are chondristic. These are those having ganoid scale heteroceral tail fin and endoskeleton by cartilage. The example are polypatarus and encipenser. Here is a polypatarus. As we see here, they have a ganoid scales on their body and the surface and a heteroceral tail. And due to power tables, we can't see that they have tail, so as an assumption, we take it as a heteroceral tail. The next one is holiosteel. These are those animals having feather, gonad, or cycloid scale with hemi heteroceral tail and having endoskeleton is moderately ossified. The example of lepistoma and amoeba. Here is a photo. These are called lepi lepisosteus. Here we see that the hemi heteroceral tail and the body covered with cycloid and tenoid scale. These are called these are. These are lepiosteus, lepiosteus, and this is a photo of Amia. Amia also called buffin fish. Buffin Amia calva. As we see here, the body is covered with ganoid and cycloid skin, and having ossified endoskeleton. The next one is Tilosteus. These are the animals having weather cycloid or tenoid scale with homo serial fin, with large ossified endoskeleton. The example are. Singanathus and Mistis. Singanathus are this type of food. These are called food pipe like. These uh, look like pipe. So also called pipe fish. As we say here, they have they have cycloid or tenoid scale in their body surface. And then the next one is Mistis. As we see here, they have a barber like structure in their mouth region, which uh, act as a sense organ, sensing something. These are also called mistress. Advantage advancement. Development of bony fish. As we go to chondriotics to osteotics and further on, we see the advan advantage advancement. 
So the first advancement of these species are having bony endoskeleton. The second advancement is streamlined body to pre prevent the less resistance to water. This having swim, swim bladder for maintain the specific gravity in water. They regulate the awesome regulation of their body and having proper brain function. Economic importance. These animals are taken as food somewhere. This animal having this animal liver oil also extracted. From this animal liver oil like substances also extracted. Certain fishes like gambusia help in controlling malaria. These fish are usually eat the larva of which uh, which cause malaria. The fish of the uh, the fish are also help in medicine importance. The evolution from evolution point of view, we study the evolution fundamental by this studying of this condyotics. Thank you.